Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to Crossfire. A mobile suit Gundam Crossfire. Otherwise known as... Oh god, please god, oh lord, please god, let this end. Alright, we have two more stages left. We have... which are both final missions, which is gonna get a little bit sticky. So I just made a double saved and I backed it up. So yeah, hopefully that'll work. If not, I'll just replay through this and do the final end, or the true ending with the with the actual Gundam because you get that for doing very hard finishing the whole story on very hard and since I already have most of these mobile suits leveled up I won't have to worry about getting as high points in the next one so I can just like scrounge my way through and barely survive and ignore stages if I have to but anyway we actually have eight days left but we don't have enough money to do anything so um, yeah, I keep cooking supply. Upgrade. God, my voice is already going out, so this might be the last episode I record tonight. Yeah, the real last mission should pop up soon, yeah. Solomon captured. Our forces have successfully captured, <laughs> captured the space fortress Solomon, which formerly served as part of Zeon's homeland. Last line of defense. Not true. The fall of this base has secured our path to victory. All units, we're counting on you now more than ever. Okay, so side three is in the L3 Lagrange point, which is on the back side of the moon. It's the most distant Lagrange point besides L9, I believe, which would be where Axis would be technically. It's not exactly there since it's closer to Jupiter. But anyway, Solomon's in, I think, L2, which is a whole 160 degrees away from uh, from Xeon, basically from side 3. So, it's up, it's about maybe one third AU away from Xeon. So, you could totally skirt around it going the other way, which would be side 2, where Pezun, the research base is. And you could go that way if you wanted, but the Federation, what they did is they attacked that, then they attacked Aboku, which was the fastest and most direct route to side three, uh, two side three, and it was also the fortress in which the, uh, in which Garion was. Uh, Dozel was in side two, or was in Compete, or Solomon, whatever you want to call it, building the Big Zom and a couple of other things, and Dozel was the leader of the ground forces. And Garion, who's their overall leader, was in Aboku, which is kind of in between the two. It's closer to side three, it's in Lagrange, or it's not actually in a Lagrange point, I don't think. Yeah, it's, like, kind of in between the two. I don't think there's a range point there, but it might be, like, look range 5 or 4 or something like that. But anyway, so... You could technically have gone around it and just attacked Aboku straight, but they wanted to take Solomon as a kind of... Pyreic victory. Or, uh, to show off to the Feder... Uh, to show off to Zeon. Plus, you know, we had to kill Big Zom. But yeah, so, apparently that last mission isn't showing up. Which is interesting. Alright, I should go to mining base. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do it on my own later. Which might actually happen, who knows. Um, did I modify it? No, I did not. Yes, I'm checking this time, because I'm not going to be dumb like that other time. We won't have enough money to do a, a last upgrade, unless we want to, like, sell something. I could sell the ground Gundam. How much would you sell for? Yeah, you're not actually worth selling, so never mind. I put way more money than that into the ground Gundam. Hey, we got shit damage up. And, yeah, let's see. Well, we could always upgrade the defense. Which couldn't hurt. And apparently, to get the Gundam, you have to get Brigadier General, not Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel is the rank you have to get to get the Camphor. Which, it's apparently different in the Xeon one. Yeah, we don't have enough points. So instead, we're just gonna upgrade our defense ones, because... You know, why not? And then I think we'll tackle the final mission. Yep. Defense up. Maybe I had to be on hard or very hard. I'm only on normal, so I don't actually know. Announcement from General Rebel. Tomorrow, on December 29th, our forces launch an assault on Xeon's final stronghold, the Space Fortress Aboku. 
this way <laughs> this may well be the final battle uh fight for the victory of the federation we are counting on you didn't that take place on christmas and was like two long days of fighting just saying might have actually taken care on the th or might have actually happened on the 31st and i could be completely wrong but i'm pretty sure it happened on the 25th or 26th yeah because no way they got all their generals together to sign a ceasefire the day after it would take at least a couple of days to clean up Aboku and for the Federation to reassemble their force. Not even for them to go all the way to Granada to sign the ceasefire. But I know the ceasefire was officially signed on the first day of the new year. So, there's that. And one more time. The death of General Revel. Our Commander-in-Chief, General Revel, had been killed in action by an attack from a new enemy weapon. Our main fleet has sustained serious damage. We will honor the General's wishes, continuing the assault on Aboku. No matter what, victory will be ours. What they're talking about is the satellite laser. Oh, okay, it was deleted. I was about to say... Training in the ruins. But anyway, it was a satellite laser, which was a giant... Which was a closed-style colony, which was basically a colony without the giant windows in it which are also solar panels, from side two, which they converted to be a giant laser cannon. They're officially built that way to be used as a weapon for the Federation. And Seema Garahau, my favorite character from 0083, his family was there, and now they don't know where she is, and they're possibly dead. Though there is possibly, uh, her family was one of the ones that made it, were made into new types. You never know. But anyway, let us finish this when, as soon as I can find a mining base. Yeah, it's today, the last day, let us do it. We just have one ally, so I think we'll bring... I think we'll bring shields. We are about to launch an assault on the Xeon mining base. The base is one of the most important strongholds of resistance for Xeon's terrestrial forces. Even now, its military might remains unchallenged. Our advanced force is presently engaging the enemy, but the situation doesn't look good. The enemy defense is still holding strong. Embark for the mining base immediately, and rendezvous with the advanced force for an assault on the base. Your objectives will be to eliminate their defense forces and to destroy the base headquarters. It's going to be a tough battle, but if we can take control here, the battle is ours. Men, I await your success. Okay, two things. They gave us tanks to assault their final base, and they didn't even spring for fucking mobile suits. No, they gave us Type 61 tanks. And two, that dude's sexist. It could totally have been a woman. I refuse. My imagination was that Stephen Smythe was a woman. Or Stanley Smythe. He was a woman, damn it. Pretty woman. Um, 385 with 1150 range, 20 ammo. Or 308, 900 range, 36 ammo. We'll go with the beam rifle. And if not, I'll change it later. I didn't say before this, but I can always go back and redo all that stuff. One into defense, one into attack, or two into attack, one into defense, and the rest into upgrading the weapon. Advanced forces are engaging the enemy. Ooh. Begin the operation immediately. That buttery 17 fr frames per second, which is sadly really good for this game. 17. To all units, dig into the north and wear the enemy down. <gasps> you know what that is? And eliminate your target. That's a Galgook. We haven't seen those before. Apparently there's only like two in this entire game. Goddamn helicopters, I hate you all. Come on. Oh, it's a Zaku. You bagged another one? Incredible! God damn, dude. Don't get excited. I just killed a guy. It's not like he had a family or anything. For some reason, we're keeping our supplies in their base. But one learns not to question this game. 
Also, I think they shot down a helicopter. Shit, son. Yeah, because I wanted to use my scope. Thanks, controller. I think my R2 button's wigged out. Like, it likes doing that, just randomly opening up the scope for reasons. But yeah, I didn't see that Galgoon coming. All right then. Break through the line before reinforcements come. Well, damn, I was not expecting that. I thought this was just going to be another defend the base mission. Forward, please. Let's destroy the. Let's destroy their mining base. Understood. Commencing reload. I don't believe in the exploitation of Africa. We need to destroy this base. After it gives me guns, because for some reason there's a weapon supply here. Oh wait, this is Africa, of course there is. Ooh, racist. Bitch, don't even try to charge me. That's my trick. Shit, helicopters know my weakness, I can't look up. I can only look at a 45 degree angle. It really feels like we're fighting Zaku 1s and Gelgoogs here. Reinforcements have left the mining base. Penetrate the line and intercept them. Storm headquarters when you're done with them. Fucking helicopters. Goddamn giant mechanical birds. Finally agree with Yeti on something. Fuck helicopters. Hey. I thought you were dead. Don't punch me. You're a hundred years too young to punch me. Oh. Heavy machine gun attack. Open. We're engaging the enemy. Keep the enemy. Did you get one of them? Keep it up. Come on, lock on, please. Bastard. Yeah, defend with your rifle. That'll help. God damn it. Wish PS4 controllers worked on the PS3. Theon! Just how many of them are there? Damn, damn it! Oh! What did a helicopter got through? I'm Yeah. Charge! Capture the enemy base! But I wanna reload first. I need to go back to that gun that gun cache. Well, they'll be dead. Understood. Commencing reload. I'm pretty sure they'll never be able to recover their lives. They will be dead. Unless I'm not grasping this dead concept correctly. Ammunition reload complete. But yeah, one of the heart one of the challenges apparently of this stage was defending that base, because that base is where the enemy spawned in the very beginning. Oh, I also like how the light in the back of his head has changed to red, too. You better watch your back. Hey, they actually used the... They used the adjective correctly this time. 
They said Zeon, not the Zeon. God, you impressed me, game. You're so shit up until the last mission, and then you get kind of good at grammar. Is that a Galgu cannon? No, it's just a Galgu with a rifle. That's no fun. Come and get me. Time to meet your maker. Asshole punched my leg. You bagged another one? Incredible! I. I is that Kukulov's vo- or... Is that Shields' voice the whole time? I swear I'm only hearing that now. I'm kinda glad I didn't hear that one before, because I would have been making fun of him for like, my entire life. That's worse than speed advantage. Incredible! But dude, I got that speed advantage, yo. Do you got that speed advantage? Dude, don't just call a retreat because you got killed. Yeah, I know. I probably shouldn't charge them head, head first, shooting machine guns at them. I was trying to swing that whole time, just for the record. He shot off my beam saber because reasons. Did I lose my whole hand? Is that what happened? Because I can't use my beam rifle even though it's still on my back. I'm not sure what's going on anymore, but oh well. It's the last stage. Also limping like a son of a bitch. Understood. Commencing reload. I don't care if this weapon cache has a has a roof. I'm gonna break it down. Ammunition replenished. Oh. If I do start the Xeon campaign, that means I'm not going to be able to tell my allies what to do anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Destruction of base headquarters confirmed. Destroy defending forces and finish the mission. So remember, in this game, you have to be a major to tell people to go forward. Open fire! <laughs> God, I'm so glad there's an inaccuracy thing in this. Though, I'm pretty sure the reason there isn't an accuracy counter at the end of the stage is because then they would have to program a system to count how many hits you got. And if they won't program the allies to... or the enemy to be able to shoot your allies too, not just the player character, I doubt they would count... do something to count shots. Sounds a little bit too graphically advanced for them. Or programming-wise, anyway. Not really graphically. Yeah, I... Do I not have a hand? Yeah, I don't have a hand. Well, alright then. I don't know where we're going. Oh, okay. I was like, where are the enemy? I can't see anyone. Did it just crash and be weird again where I had to start over? No, it was just giant mechanical birds.
Africa. No, the Earth. No. Of all Zeon forces. No, my. Victory is ours. Also. The news of this victory will surely instill our comrades in space with a new sense of courage. The Federation will surely win this war. I repeat, we've taken the mining base. We've beaten the Zeon terrestrial forces. This will surely help our comrades. I'm not reading from a script. John, don't read this. What? Anyway, folks, we have survived. We have won the Federation. We didn't do the hardest ending, because apparently I'm not in the highest difficulty. Not surprised. I will do that on my own time, and I will start a Xeon campaign from scratch, because that's fun to me. Also, I got a B, even though I only lost my HP, so my idea from the last episode? Completely wrong. Unless this one's special, but who knows. Yeah, maybe you need New Game Plus to get that one. Who knows? Today marked the end of the final battle fought on Earth. The Federation forces finally succeeded in gaining control over the African continent, the last stronghold of the Xeon forces. The ambition of the Xeons, who came down from the sky to conquer Earth, was at last foiled. The momentum gained from the victory here on Earth will spur the Federation on to defeat the Zeons in space as well. And then, the Federation and Zeon will sign a treaty to end this war. Uh, uh okay, um... So, any of you prospective writers out there, what he used in that last line was called passive voice. That is a very cop-out way to write something, and definitely not how you write. He said that the Federation and Zeon will sign an agreement. No, it's the Federation and Zeon signed an agreement. Or whatever specific words he said, I don't actually remember. I was too busy face palming. I'm gonna be honest with you. But remember, action is more important than intended action. They did something. They aren't going to do something. Unless it's a character talking, and then you can use passive voice. Because some people do talk passively. Like, you don't go to the. You don't. Say, or you don't write down that you will go to a store. You write down that you're going to the store. You're going to do it. But whatever. Also, they got Zeon right once in this entire game. And yeah. Yeah, I don't believe that they reorganized and got the peace treaty signed in a day. I still don't believe that. That's impossible. Also, is that Comic Sans? That looked like Comic Sans. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this game. I definitely didn't. I hate this game with a passion. Anyway, <laughs> next, we'll, uh, next week we'll be back with more Zeon. I'll get the special ending, preferably with a Gundam. In the meantime, it'll be a couple of days, but I'll edit it so it looks like I did it right after this. So if you're watching this on a playlist, you'll never notice, but if you aren't, I do apologize. I thought I was unlocking the ending one, because, you know, you had to do it on normal or hard, apparently. It was actually hard or very hard. I didn't get the memo, and I didn't care about the memo at the time, so there's that. But yeah, we'll be back with a fresh play of Xeon, because same thing, actually. I could play this, but if I do, if I start this in New Game Plus as Xeon... I'll apparently get, like, a GM and a GMD or something like that in the first day. Yeah, that'd be no fun. I don't want to have Xeon suits. Like, yeah, it's cool that we'd capture Z uh, we'd capture GMs, and then we'd get to use them, but I don't want it. Also, that's a Gunpla, isn't it? I think I've seen that one actually, like, the actual one of that. 
Yeah, I think these are all Gumplo pictures. But yeah, so I'm going to start a fresh game of Zeon, and then next time I'll have the new game plus with the Federation. Excuse me. Yeah, I think these are all Gumpla design, or not Gumpla specifically, but they had that one modeling contest in like 2002. And I think these are all like designs from that, because I remember a lot of this stuff. Hey, that suit we never saw in the game. should probably be making fun of people's names in the ending, because I heard that's popular on YouTube. I'm not going to, though. But, anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this game, you should like. If you enjoyed me hating this game, you should like. If you thought I shouldn't hate this game and that it was actually pretty good, you should dislike. I'll totally take those into account, I swear. You know, because this game is totally top quality. I... Having 17 frames per second was not... That was the low for the game, not the high. Actually, I'm pretty sure the high during a menu was like 20. And yeah, that's during a menu. But anyway, folks, good night. Well, good night after the end of these cutscenes. Or, these credits. And Eric Kelso. You know, the head doctor from Sacred Heart did voice acting in here, apparently. That's also a Galgook's crotch. That's the picture we wanted to see. I won't be hilariously captioning these like I did with the Senki ending. Because I thought I was funny in the Senki ending. Apparently I wasn't. But that doesn't really matter. Anyway, folks, good night.